Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. So today we have a get ready with me. Yes, I do have box braids, have lashes in. I'll get more into that later on in the video. I'm going out tonight, so I just decided to do a little simple like glam look. That's very like summery to me, like you know, still has that little glow to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but in person it shows. But before we get into the video, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Again with the statistic, she's back. We're back up at 63% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Like it went down to 30, 30 something after I told you guys to subscribe and now it's back up to 63%. So that's too much of a percentage for you guys to be watching my videos and not to be committed to the channel. Just subscribe for more content. I would really appreciate it and it would really mean a lot to me. So yeah, you know, and if you want to give this video a thumbs up as well so other people can see it. Okay, but enough talking. Let's get into the video now. Bye! So I just washed my face so my face is super dry right now and I want to show you guys um, what I use to moisturize my face and I've gotten a lot more new products so I want to show them in this video. Um, I got this eye duty niacinamide brightening cream from first day beauty um you only need like a little dab my favorite eye cream so far this is my go-to moisturizer first day beauty beauty ultra repair oil control moisturizer i'm getting my nails done today um i should actually be filming this tomorrow so i have my nails done but you know it's fine because i'm going to a birthday dinner today um oh my god I look so crusty I hope the camera doesn't pick up all the flaky stuff um, <laughs> going on in my face but I'm going to a birthday dinner tonight so that's kind of what I'm doing my makeup for right now I'm going for a simple look but still a little dew to it you know a little glow to it I mean this moisturizer I love because if you look up close it doesn't look like I put a moisturizer on, it's kind of just seeps into the skin. The skin just absorbs it. And I got a tan, so literally, there's no foundation that I have right now that's my exact color. The closest one that I have is my Fenty Hydrating um, Foundation. So I got my hair done by Hair by Breezy on IG. She's my go-to. I'm doing a whole like transformation video because I'm I'm not done yet. I have my braids, I'm getting my lashes refilled, and then I'm gonna get my eyebrows tattooed. So if you guys wanna watch that experience, just stay tuned for my next video because I'm doing a whole transformation. I'm so excited, I can't wait to look cute. It's just a nice feeling pampering yourself, you know? So yeah, I'm super excited for that video. So next, I'm going to show you guys the sunscreen that I've been using. This is the Super Goop uh, Unseen Sunscreen. And it's SPF 40, and it's like a silicone type of uh, texture. But guys, I've been out on the beach literally all summer. Um, I've just been driving around, going to try different beaches. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably see that I am just, you know, out and about. Um, different parts of Ontario because it's not like we can travel so just trying to make the most out of the situation and I saw this picture on the internet on Twitter that said like the amount of sunscreen that you're really supposed to use on your face and it was insane so I don't know I just started like increasing the amount of sunscreen that I put on my face because like I wasn't doing the proper amount you know it's supposed to be like kind of a thick layer on your skin and I also like this sunscreen because it doesn't have a smell to it there's no scent should I bring you guys closer okay that's as close as it's gonna get I don't want you guys to get too close to me and next I'm gonna apply primer so this primer, I got a little, I got the smaller version of it because I just wanted to try it out before I went and got the big one. This is the Milk Hydro Grip and I've heard nothing but good things about this primer and I've tried it once before on a really hot day. This is how it's coming out. And it really did help make my makeup last long. I'm only gonna put it in the center of my face where I touch a lot, like I touch my nose and my, um, I touch my nose a lot. This is a very like sticky, texture thick texture to it so around my nose and around my mouth is where I touch the most oh my god but my hair is so long literally goes down my waist 
Love it. I'm trying to keep it in as long as possible because it's actually such a blessing waking up and having hair. Like, your hair already ready. You don't really have to do anything to it. And I don't know why it took me so long to go to braids um, throughout this whole, like, corona thing. I was going to try braiding my own hair, but I'm just too lazy for that, honestly. So, I have a lot of things to talk to you guys about. You know, it's time for an update. By the way, this is not going to be my proper filming setup. I'm working towards that. Um, but this is like this is what we have right now. I filmed here once and I think I didn't like how it looked Which is why I never came back here to film again Getting a proper filming setup is something that I'm working on right now And since I'm going for a more dewy look, I'm gonna use the Fenty hydrating foundation It's also the only foundation shade. That's my color that I have right now So just a pump of that this really goes a long way. I only need one pump of it I'm good and I'm gonna start naming the brushes that I'm using because I've been getting a lot of questions on them So this foundation brush is the domed buffer From quo beauty. So I wanted to talk about hormones. Okay. I Feel like not enough people talk about this not enough women talk about this. So I get super moody around my Around my time of the month and if this is TMI click out it's totally fine like no hard feelings you can leave if it's too much for you it's gotten to the point where even the people close to me will notice and be like you're getting a period again aren't you like it's it's a noticeable switch i don't want to like self-diagnose i actually have to go to the doctor and like get this tested out but i think i have pmd D. PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. I was doing my research on it because I saw Patricia Bright's video on it like a year ago. I seen it. I didn't know people can have a extreme version of PMS because I've already I experienced PMS. Obviously, I feel like a lot of girls do, but it's an extreme form of PMS. I'm gonna read the symptoms for you guys just in case there's anyone out there who might have the same Okay, so premenstrual dysphoric disorder is a health problem that is similar to PMS, but is more serious PMDD causes severe irritability depression or anxiety in the week or two before your period starts and like I knew I always had high estrogen levels because when I was 15 like I went to the doctor and they told me that so like Maybe I have a hormonal imbalance and it's a very like serious topic, but I feel like it's just a topic That's not talked about a lot hormonal imbalances can be the reason for Your anxiety or your depression why you feel so much different two weeks before your period and then um, The drastic change after your period starts because for me, it's as soon as my period like the day That it comes out I'm a different person <laughs> like it's it's like a sigh of relief type of like other aside from the cramping I'm kind of in like a euph euphoric state like it's just like bliss like ah, I'm normal again great Love it here. I it definitely was not this bad when I was younger Like I feel like as I get older, I'm noticing it more. I definitely get more anxious two weeks before my period That's for sure. Yeah, so I don't want to come on here and say, hey, I have this, I have this, because I'm really not sure. Obviously, update you guys on it, and if you have more information on it, feel free to let your girl know, because, you know, help, let's help each other out. But wait, there's more. Like difficulty, concentrating, crying and emotional sensitivity, mood changes, severe fatigue, difficulty concentrating, coordination difficulties, paranoia, and issues with self-image, forgetfulness. Like, I literally have all of the above. I need to figure this shit out. I need to figure it out. I just wiped it off, but I didn't even need, like, I needed half of a pump to cover my face. It's just a little concern of mine that I have. <laughs> And I also uh, keep track of it too. Like I keep track of my moods before and after my period, what day I feel, like my moods throughout the month as well, just so I can keep track. I'm gonna be using Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Cookie. By the way, I got my lashes done by um, Trends Beauty Lab. She's located in Scarborough if you guys are looking for a Scarborough lash tech. If you guys do want to book with her, use my code Shoshana Rose for 10% off of your full set. 
I need a fill right now, but I will insert a picture of how they looked like two weeks ago. They looked so good and they lasted a very long time for me. So yeah, like this is them after two weeks. I definitely need a fill, but I've, like the first day it looked so good. Use my coach Shoshana Rose for 10% off. Aside from me being a moody hormonal little bitch, I wanted to talk about my weight gain. <laughs> so, um, I don't know about y'all, but quarantine had your girl gain, like, I'm not even gonna blame quarantine, it's definitely my lack of self-control. Um, 10 to 15 pounds. When I gain weight, it's pretty obvious because it goes straight to my face, my cheeks, my upper body, Never to my butt, never to my thighs. It just doesn't want to reach down there. It doesn't want to go to that area, to that region. It just wants to stay up here for some reason. Like, just, I wish I can just push it all down, but no. I need to, like, you know, start exercising, eating better, working towards losing it. And that's going to be a whole separate video because... What do you mean 15 pounds? That's a lot of weight. And you guys know African moms, so my mom, you know, never shies away from letting me know I gained weight. Uh, she will actually take every opportunity she can to let me know. Thanks for the reminder, you know, it's like I already know, but thank you for letting me know as well. Mission lose 15 pounds in a month or two is on. I'm not insecure about it, but it's not to the point where I'm uncomfortable with myself, but it's just none of my clothes fit no more. So it's like, I can't really, I need to get new clothes. Or I need to like lose the weight and fit back in my old clothes. So I think okay, I'm kind of self-conscious about it, but I'm not like insecure. Now I have a little double chin going on now, and um, <laughs> you know, it's just I can't wear certain things. Like crop tops just don't look the same on me no more. It's that type of thing. On to more exciting news. Your girl is looking for a car. She's going car shopping, which is super exciting. <laughs> Because if you know, um, my old my old car, um, you know, it's just, it's that, it's time. I'm at the point where, you know, I'm evolving as a person, you know, my career, and it's just time I say goodbye. Anyways, all the products that I'm using is going to be in the description box below. Like, literally, the direct links will be in the description box for you guys. But this is just the 10-hour camo concealer. No, 16-hour camo concealer. Um, in the shade rich chocolate and I use this to contour my face. It's been exciting You know car shopping. It's hard though like trying to find the right car There's so many cars out there and you really have to like weigh out your options You know budgets the interior. There's different makes different different models I want this car to be the car that I have for like a good five years So I want to kind of invest in it Cause it's a big investment, okay? This is gonna be my biggest investment yet. I'm taking my time with it, but just now I'm going car shopping and I'm so excited and I'm grateful, you know? This is where it comes in, it's coming. None of this would be possible without you guys. Like it really wouldn't though, so. And you know, I was speaking to myself yesterday, like do you even say thank you enough to them? I don't think I do, so I just have to quickly say thank you guys so much for watching my videos and engaging with the content and you know really liking it <laughs> no but honestly thank you guys for your support like wholeheartedly it does mean a lot when you guys leave comments leave your feedback on my videos it's kind of what we do it for you know this we like hearing your opinions on certain things. And don't think I don't read the comments, guys. I read every single comment that you guys leave on my videos. I'm gonna put this NARS Creamy Concealer. Praline, this is in the shade Praline. And right in the center, just to brighten her up a bit. I always go back in with concealer after I contour for some reason. Kinda just wanna brighten it up again. My favorite cafe that I like to edit at is still closed. So I can't wait to go back there because I genuinely hate editing at home because it's a long process and just being in my room like these four walls kind of drives me crazy so I need to be like out in a different environment you know just out and about oh yeah so I'm getting my brows tattooed by brow god jazz and you guys are gonna see the whole process but I did get my brows tattooed before and it made it so much more easier when it came to filling them in it was already like kind of outlined for me so i just had to like go over it i will show you guys um pictures 
of how they looked when I first got them done and I got them done last year. I think I'm gonna start going to therapy. Um, the way that I've been speaking to people who have gone um, and the way that they talk about it, you know, it's not like I've always known that therapy is not just for like people who are severely mentally ill. It's for everyone, you know, everyone needs that outlet or like something to like or someone to kind of decode um, their past experience or their trauma, make them have a better understanding of who they are and why they react the way they react or do the things that they do. I just want to try it out, why not, you know? See if it'll actually help me with my anxiety. Sometimes there are just experiences that your brain will naturally shut out. I feel like there's so many things that I need to like <laughs> rediscover about myself. And, you know, I've talked to other people who have suggested doing shrooms, but I'm actually a-okay. <laughs> Hold on guys, let me just, let me finish this brow and I'm gonna let you guys in on what I think about shrooms. If I've had bad experiences with like even weed, what makes you think shrooms is gonna like, you know, like when people suggest that to me? No, I don't need shrooms. I need a therapist. It's okay. I don't need to trip balls to get a better understanding of life or my life. Thank you. It's actually fine. So yeah, I mean like shrooms, this is not for me. Obviously other people like li love shrooms and it's it works for them. There's just so many things that I feel like I suppress and I need to know why I do that. It's okay, like, I've just always been the type of person to kind of like hold in my emotions so much to the point where I end up hurting myself at the end. Like, it's like, why do I do that? Is it to protect, you know, other people? Or like, I don't know. So I need to know why I am the way I am. And like, why it's also really hard for me to talk about my feelings. I've always been this way. Everything's always been a joke to me, kind of, you know? Like, I don't like to take things seriously, especially my feelings. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but it's, I've kind of always been that type. There's also this YouTuber called Amy Lee, and she talks a lot about mental health and um, trauma bonding. And, you know, it's... And this, this is all things that she's learned from her therapist that she's like educating us on just from her experience with therapy and that really made me want to go even more because it's like you just learn so much about the human mind and how complex it is. I feel like I'm at the age now where I'm willing to learn. That's a big step in itself. Good for me. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. palette for the blushes. These two colors right here. Almost done. I'm getting a mani-pedi today. Thank God. Oh my God, it's been so long. But yeah, just know your girl is going to therapy and she's gonna be the best version of herself. As corny as it sounds, it's true. That's what therapy's for, you know? Self-improvement, self-awareness. So I'm gonna just spray this e.l.f. dewy setting mist on me. I'm kind of running late, like. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. While my face is drying for my bottom lashes, I'm gonna use this Hourglass Unlocked Mascara, Instant Extension Mascara. This does a really good job at separating them. So yeah, I'm getting many petties with my manager at five and it's like three something right now and it's all the way in Etobicoke so I gotta go. And then after that I'm going out for dinner and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation and this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from me and I'll see you guys in my next video.